Bills coming early and your girl is the latest And she's saying that she's down but the crib always vacant And you do a dollar's worth but it's pennies that you making And you trying to be the greatest You gotta get creative when you're from the side of town Where the kids hardly make it And you try to ease your mind but the pigs always hating And your freedom's on the line And the years that you facing And you trying to be the greatest Alright, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is episode nine. nine. Is it nine? I think it's it not nine. We're on eight. We on eight. We, see we, we missed a week. We missed a week. Yeah, we missed a week. But this is episode eight, What's the Remedy Podcast. It's your boy, Dr. J. Mr. Wash. Ashley Ray. And we got a guest today. Big Chris. All right, Big Chris. Old oh, Heads Radio. Old Heads Radio. Old yeah. Heads Radio. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to jump this off. We missed last week. We were kind of... Uh, folks got tied up. Everything going on. Folks got busy lives out here. Um, so we'll just get, give a quick recap. Everybody go around and tell, you know, how they, I guess they past week was, including the weekend. So how was everything? Awesome. Went to the Jay-Z concert, went uh-huh. to Jodeci concert, went Jodeci. to the Rockets game, did a lot of shit. Yeah, I was going to say, I seen you at every concert. That oh my God, I love you. Yeah, even that was popping. She was, I was yeah. popping. It was like a little socialite, huh? I yeah. just like, yeah. I like music. I mean, I but you at the Rockets games. Yeah, I like sports, though. I'm going to go. You like everything. I like everything. Yeah. Everything he's going to You be at all the, you a socialista. Oh, yeah. yeah JZ was really good, though, y'all. Yeah, he was. I went there. I he did go there? to that. No, yeah. it was really good. I was at the Jay-Z concert. Tell so Beyonce ain't come out. I was like, let's go. She didn't come damn out. Well. Oh, no, she didn't. And I'm really mad about that you shit. You knew damn well. She from H-Town. You was supposed to come out. No, but she ain't going to come out to, uh, I mean... That's that's like a whole, a whole. They they have to add to the ticket price of Beyonce. Came I knew there. it. I knew it. They but she gonna make a cameo in her own thing. Like I don't guess, care. Guess appearances and stuff like that. But she was there. You shouldn't even. I let, know she was you there. You didn't let Bum B be on. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, no, he didn't bring nobody out. <sighs> Bum B come out for everybody. Right. <laughs> right. He I was like, ain't hey, no, no you Cause, cause Jay-Z a hoe. He ain't no hoe. He ain't no hoe. Hoe, hoe, hoe. No, whatever. Damn, Jay-Z a hoe. What about you, Wash? What was your weekend like? Oh, was my weekend like? A week. What should we do yeah. this week? I ain't do too much, man. Oh. I, don't, yeah. I never do too much, man. You know what I'm saying? Work at home. You know what I'm saying? That's my life. Shit, I feel you. you know what I need to do some more stuff. You know what I'm saying? Do some, some adventurous type there. things. You need to look up whatever Ashley doing because she be everywhere. Oh, I see. That's why I live through her. I just was go. I just, I just, I just, I just go. I get on Instagram, watch your videos, and I I be at the concert saying, I be, too. I be watching Ashley snaps. That's how I do. Yeah, like, no, they're not exciting like they used to be. I'm to see, tired. Oh, I was say I always see where you at. Like, man, Ashley everywhere. Mm-hmm. Cause people was like, I, I was like, I was like, I man, like the rock. They was doing good. To, uh, I was like, that Casey and Joe concert was tight. And then somebody yeah. they like, you went. I said, nah, I was just following Ashley. Yeah, snaps. Ashley show you the whole thing. Yeah, I tried to jump on stage, y'all. Almost got. Cow. Yeah, they probably was gonna I throw was you gonna off. Jump on there. <laughs> KC hit me up on Instagram. Thank you, thank you, Mister Owe. Oh yeah, whatever the fuck the name is. I was happy as hell. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. He can't hear you right yeah. now. He, he drunk as hell right now. Uh, he, no, he don't drink no more. He on oh, something. Yeah. <laughs> he on something. Oh, yeah. That nigga can sing. Now, yeah, Maybe he can sing. I had a strange feeling. All right. All right. Uh, what, what about you, you Chris? How was your weekend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My weekend wasn't as exciting, you know, but it had a little, little family, personal stuff I had to take care of, but you know. Family first. Right. That's right. real. Right. So, That's real. I miss yeah. my family. You know what? All right. You're all right. You'll be all right. Uh, my weekend was cool. I went to New Orleans. What? Yeah. I mean, the, the trip was cool. Like, we what out there celebrating um, my girlfriend's homegirl birthday. Yeah. So, they had, like, an Airbnb and all that stuff. It was cool. Bourbon Street. That's what we yeah. should have been at this weekend. Like, I told her. We oh, should have been at the, the, uh, the Bayou the, Class? No, the LeBlanc thing. Oh, the Houston. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, was, I messed up. That looks very grown and sexy. It really it did. And it looked I gotta very figure nice. out how do you get into that? Like yeah, you just know. purchase the tickets. Yeah, the, the, the tickets. The tickets were thirty eight dollars. It's the gym, like oh, you bring your own it. food dressed in white and oh, the yeah, you it bring was your a own discovery table. green, you yeah. said? Huh? It was a discovery green? Yeah. No, it was a, like Midtown. Midtown. Was it Midtown? Yeah. It looks oh. real nice. Because it's a pop up thing. Like they 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 tell you the location like an hour or two before. And you oh. text whatever where the location gonna be at. Oh, really? Because you don't even know where it's gonna be at. Oh, I know. I know what y'all talking about. My best Definitely friend actually that next year. was part of the band that played. The they event. said it was, mm. but they said the one in Dallas was cool. This one, Houston, was lit. They said mm. it was actually really good. That's oh. what it was. Okay, yeah, my best friend was trying to get me to come out to the. Um, you sure? 
Situations, so I can oh, go. Okay. So, yeah, no, I'm gonna try to catch it bag. next time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. and I've seen it other places, okay. <laughs> like I've seen it other places, and I just saw the one for Houston. And I was like, oh, okay, well, yeah, because I seen like the uh, everybody was like earlier that day, like hashtag DB and stuff like that. And I'm yeah. like, what, what's going on? Then I seen all the pictures that night of everybody, you know saying, everybody you know, you like. Yeah, yeah, I was like, mm-hmm. half, half my timeline was I at that dinner. Yeah. Man, I seen some nice white, and I like white, so I seen some ladies with some nice hats on. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. that's nice. Yeah, like, like I say, real grown, real grown and sexy, right? Yeah, right. I'm going to be there one day. Yeah. Right yeah, now, I'm a little ratchet, and we're just going to work on that. You work, work your way up. You'll yeah. be all right. Girl. The rat be coming out. But yeah, no, I like I like I like the that whole look from what I could see from the pictures and stuff yeah. and the videos. So I mean, I'm definitely gonna try to do it. I heard the one in New Orleans was good too. But oh, I, I bet don't, you it is. I bet you yeah, have a nice I heard one. it was nice. So, but this is the first time I've heard of the Houston one. And it's everybody's the talking. Yeah, yeah, because they they everybody talking about how lit it was this time. So I'm like, man, I, so I feel you bring like I'm really this time. Yeah, you bring your own, everything yourself. I didn't know that you bring that. My yourself. friend had a cooler show. He had ready liquor up yeah, cooler. You got to bring all your food. own stuff. His wife. Had so who does the table? You bring your own table. You bring cloth. your decorations. Yeah, you, you set bring it up so, so, everything. The table's there though, right? I don't know if the tables are no, there. No, the, the tables are there. They said it because I, like I said, I, she, I told you I passed up the table. she decorated it up. But you got to decorate your table and bring your own. Is it your own chair? You got to bring your own something. I think it's chairs. He ain't no chair. He ain't no chair? I don't think so. Okay, well, but maybe I, it's just the food know. and decorations. She had plates and nice gold plates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, really? Like nice dinnerware but and I, stuff I, like that? Uh-huh. I'd be like, man, I'd be mad if I carry all this shit. Yeah, I'm taking me a paper plate, I thought. I know. They'd be like, that's why. That's why I'm saying, like, how classic can this be? Because, you know what I'm saying? No, she had a centerpiece and everything. Out there with a with a white yeti, but you yeah. and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mommy decorated all up. Yeah, so and, and there's some sandwiches. Like I see right. people out there with like salmon and you know yes. grilled chicken breasts, asparagus spears. And I'm like, God, what if I just bring some sandwiches out there? <laughs> you know, somebody gonna bring some KFC. I'm gonna bring some hot wings. Yeah, bucket, yeah. bucket of chicken. Yeah. 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 Give me a <laughs> hey, y'all. Give me an all white bucket of chicken. You know, somebody <laughs> gonna have their Timmy chains on there. <laughs> right. All white. They oh, probably shit. be talking about me. Yeah, no, shit, I don't. Not come here with them. I, I would have to talk to somebody and let me know exactly what I'm supposed to do. But I want to do it. Yeah, cause like yeah. I say, like I say, it's like a, it's cause I say they explain like a pop up chic event, whatever. Like they say, yeah. they let you know like two hours beforehand where to go. Yeah, I just yeah. need to know the rules. Tell me the rules before I get out there, and then we'll be all right. That's yeah, because I want to. I want to be lit at my table. I want to be like. I'm going to have something big. So. True. Yeah. I can pass my edibles around. Girl, I'll get you one. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm yeah. lit. You be lit. I gotta go pick them up. Anyway, oh, what else on? you did? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up them uh, uh, Thanksgiving desserts. Mm-hmm. That's that. I gotta go outside. Grandma yeah. tripping. Yeah, nah. I don't want help. Baby, why you not mad? <laughs> so that's what she you take your edibles for? For them conversations? No, I take them just to stay, stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> for for purposes. It's like an addict. <laughs> I take them to stay alive. The doctor asked me something. Our doctor asked me something. I was like, I don't take that shit. Mm. All right. So anyway, we're going to move right along. We're going to move right along to what y'all lying about segment. Um... I ain't really, to be honest with y'all, I ain't really been on Twitter that much for like, and this is amazing for me. I ain't been on Twitter that much for like the past week or so. But I mean, there were a couple of things that kind of stood out to me. One of the big things I saw was this, uh, this video that it's a video game, an online video game that this girl made about, uh, touching black people's hair. Mm. And so did anybody play it or see it? I seen it. Did you play you can, it? No. Yeah, you go to her little website, you can play it. And oh, like, my god! You can swap people's hands away from your hair and stuff. I don't like people touching my hair. Yeah, I don't either. So, I, I feel it. I just had that happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> what if you play the game and it's like, if somebody touch your hair, they'd be like, Jigaboo. Jigaboo. Nah, don't play with me. Don't play with me. You lost. <laughs> I don't know that. Jigaboo. Nah, like nah but like, but supposedly, like, this girl, she, she had made this uh, video game or whatever, and... And so, like, it, it kind of blew up on Twitter. Like, she she says she came up with the idea. She has a friend that knows how to write code and stuff like that. And so, her homeboy did the code, made this game. It's a real simple game. Like, you just go to different destinations and swap white people's hands away from your hair. Just white people? That's racist. I mean, they're usually the ones that try to touch no, your hair. I had a black dude try to pull my wig off. We well, talked about that. that we we talked about that. And that nigga was weird. Okay. Yeah, don't. If I can't. had a wig or a that, wig. That young man was a. 
Man, that's a wig. Don't yeah. touch my wig. <laughs> he probably he probably wanted to see your wig. Yeah, he probably, he probably wanted, wanted that. Yeah, wig. he probably wanted to see if it fit. <laughs> anyway, himself. ooh, boo, where you get this from? <laughs> 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 I had a white lady touch my brain. I'm finna slay in this. Yeah. Wig. But ooh, you're I killing let, it, boo. I let her touch my braids only because she said she. I was drinking. I get a little happy when I'm drinking. But mm-hmm. she said like, oh, she's a hairdresser. So I let her touch. Her. I don't want to touch their hair though. Right, but that's the same. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so you, you say, like, oh, well, so what do you do here? And she's like, oh, shit, I, I play one on TV. Oh. Mm-hmm. 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 She fake lying to you. She just want to touch, yeah, her, hair. Wanna touch her hair. She like, said it was nice, though. She said, I mean, they all say it's nice. Because they want it. Okay, and so the other thing I saw was this. Okay, it was a video. And it was just random that I saw this. It was like a video where this like British news program was talking about uh, a brochure for diversity training that they were giving out in their office and they were reading some of the, the notes that they were giving their people about the diversity training. And one of the rules they said was to not touch a black woman's hair if you didn't get the chance to do it while you were in school. So my That's question is this. Every damn body. How many times has somebody tried to touch your hair? A lot. Like, just, like no matter what style it's in? It don't matter. Do you not know how many? But I I work with majority black women, and they still be trying to touch your hair. I don't like that shit. I don't like when they touch. I ain't no black woman touch hair like Man, that. Man, they be trying to. Oh, girl, this look nice. Mm. Can, they, can, they what try to, can they try to figure out if they're gonna buy that kind of brand? That kind yeah. of. Nah, I don't, I don't ask you. I don't touch. I don't like to be touched. Oh. And I don't. I just give people, you know, their space too. I don't like to be touched. So don't touch my hair. Don't yeah. Just ask. I mean, and I mean, like me. I got a lot of hair, so yeah. like it happens to me a lot too. But even when I had like a shortcut, because I went to white schools when I was they in school, your hair? like and and I had like a regular fade, and like white people would be like, "Oh, your hair's so different. different," and they'd be like trying to touch you. But and you I'm like, "God, what? You want to touch little Billy's hair? Hell no! Little Billy got lights. Yeah, white people, white people black people lights. can get lights too. It's very hard for black people to get lights. Yeah. They can get it. They can, but it's very hard. They can White people hair is different and it's all straight and the lights can live in that. With all these curls and kinks up in my hair, lights don't be up in there like that. Lights don't live in the projects. Yeah. What you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, lights so lights say y'all hair too nappy for us to Yeah, for real. <laughs> y'all hair too nappy. They can't get comfortable living there. Yeah. White people hair like the condos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, white people hair is nice for the lights. They like, they like that feeling, that straight, silky feeling. Oh, so our hair don't be silk and straight. If you, well, you put a product in it. It's just everybody has this nappy that's black, huh? Yeah. Is Ooh, it not? No, no, no. Well, no. curly, kinky, kinky. Curly, maybe. Kinky. Way, okay. Yeah. I'm going to let you know. Different curl patterns? Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. There still uh-huh. be some dirty nigga hair somewhere. At the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then when you get down to that kitchen area, it's still going to be like, nappy. Kitchen. Yeah, it's still gonna be nappy. I don't care what your curl pattern is. Mm-mm. So mm. yeah, that's why white people want to touch it because your hair different. It ain't all straight and matted and stuff. People like different. Some people. Mm-hmm. Some people. I don't discriminate. Like you say, our, our hair does a lot of different things. Like you say, it could be curled up. You no, know I'm saying people like nappy. Whatever case may be, it can be curled up. It can be twisted up. You all put right. you, you put some water to it, whatever, and lay it down, and it can be straight and stuff like that without any chemicals. I'm saying so. Our hair kind of transitions a lot without a lot of those different things. But we have use just... hot combs. Yeah, but you know Everybody about hot combs. Well, nigga, I'm, I'm black at the end of the day. Yeah, if you if you know have any females in your family, right. you know about a hot comb. I got a seeing mama that, and a sister. Yeah, seeing your grandma put that comb on the stove and just letting it heat up. Yeah. Sitting in the kitchen looking like you gotta pray to God that she don't burn your mm-hmm. ears. That, that sucks for y'all. I ain't never had to deal with nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I remember that every Saturday night. The worst, the worst I ever had was like back when I used to have like braids, like in like high school, mm-hmm. and like I started like perming my hair to make the braids go down smoother. Mm-hmm. I used to hate getting perms. Them perms, were ridiculous. Burn. you got perms? I did read? a couple times. Okay, you read. Man, Yo, I, I, I mean, from first of all, I mean, you're, 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 not, you're not you're not you're not a Hold real on. black man if you have an experiment with your hair and put like some you kind of texture. Yes, I used to and an S curl. I did S curl in middle school. I had that S curl in middle mm. school. Trying to get that curly box fresh. You know what I'm saying? So y'all use the chemicals, huh? Yes. Yeah. I ain't know that. Use the douche. Yeah. Yes, curl. Like that. That douche. Yeah, orange can. You know, everybody got to use the dash. Oh yeah, yeah. I seen that in my my waves, the mirrors and stuff. Yeah. 
You gonna put your little texturized on them ones? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. like a nigga like me, I couldn't. I, I, my hair don't wave like it's yeah. supposed to, mm-hmm. so I needed a little texturizer. You know what I'm saying? Little, uh, to get the waves so, to go. So, dude, still doing the uh the little. Extra. They don't look. They don't look extra. Or something else. Yeah, now. That nigga, it look like they just going any kind of. Let me just wake up. Yeah. And shake my head. Well, the, see, and then they they transition now from the little uh wake up to just this little fro on the top of their head mm-hmm. to now that everybody getting them uh cornrows just on the top. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's like the new thing. I ain't gonna know, man. I ain't gonna say. And then you gotta dye your hair. Yeah, you gotta dye your hair. I really got. Okay, I'm old, so. Mm-hmm. I ain't getting that, but. That you dye. But speaking gray. of. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna dye my hair before I cut it off. But you dyeing your hair? I mean, I got a lot, a lot of hair. I want to do? do like some like blonde tips okay. type thing. Like not, not like he dye want them highlights. Golden Lord, Golden Lord. No, but it, like I remember, like somebody told me about ombre in before, and I was yeah. like, some ombre means ombre. I know about some ombre. You what know, the, about what you know? What the, what the hell? Ombre? <laughs> you mean, if you deal with a woman, you know about ombre. See, that's I heard about it, and I was like, I don't understand. They were like, yeah, you just ombre your dress. I was yeah. like, oh, okay. I ain't never did it though, so I might try that before I. You gonna cut your make hair? A final cut. Eventually, this shit hot. I just, I, oh my gosh, this it's shit, long. Hot. It's hot, oh. and it's nappy. And it's annoying. <laughs> like during this cool months, it's you cool. Yeah. But like during the summer, like I be sweating. Yeah. So what you gonna get next? Just let your soul glow. No, nah, I might. I think I'm gonna do the. Uh, um, I don't even know. We gonna see. I can't go soul glow. I can't go back to the S curl. I'm, I'm too far. Man, moved. get your curly box, man. man uh, I like the easy e look. Are you talking about a, a Jerry you know, girl? Yeah, about a yes. <laughs> Jerry girl. Oh no! Soul glow. I, I don't think I, I don't think I'm swaggy enough to pull that one back. Got the shade yeah. in the back. Yeah, yeah, I like that. You gotta be, you gotta be on a certain <laughs> level. I like the old nigga. <laughs> yeah, you <he's> so old. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, get the Gumby. Yeah, the, Gumby. the Bobby Brown, the Blaine Brown. Yeah, you gotta be on a certain level to bring back them kind of hairstyles. Right? And I, I don't think I'm on that level. I'm Everybody not that type got, of nigga. Them dudes got that color hair. Who? Oh, yeah, everybody come the back. young dudes with yeah. the red. So come, back, come back with the hot top fade with the part in it. I like that. I seen a girl with that at this painting. I did trap and paint this weekend. Mm-hmm. Girl had a part in her hair. Yeah, how was that? Explain that. Oh, oh that. my God. It was the best ever paint party I ever went to because I like ratchet trap music. I sold dope in my head and painted. <laughs> I was Picasso and sold a, some cocaine. But you went with your friends, right? Yeah. Would you go with your... Significant other? No. Why not? I don't know. Because we was twerking and drinking and shit. It's not romantic mm-hmm. like type of stuff. So, so Have you been to the other one? Like the paint with a twist stuff? Yeah. And so that one's like more I did romantic. it with a date. Yeah, I did this yeah. with my homegirl. Okay. Yeah, so if you this was like my homegirl. We've been paint, it all you with, you know, twerking and shit. Yeah, unless you say, don't, be, don't, don't take your ass no trap and paint. <laughs> Okay, hey, so it no, was some couples say, in there. I think. Oh, okay. I was going to say it might have like, been. There was some dudes in there. It was like five. They live single. The girl that was the DJ, she was. Never mind, I'm not doing that. She was Wait, what? She was what? You can't just introduce that. I'm not that. Bad canceling it. <laughs> you can't just introduce <laughs> it and then not say what it was. Nah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> well, I was like, what, the, what you really doing in there? Yeah, nah, what, but it what was, was going on with you and the DJ? Nothing. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> Never What's that. Going? It just felt very. My friend felt like it was very, like, uh, just gay. <laughs> okay, that's that's what I thought you were getting it. Yeah, she was know. she was she was gay. She oh, let okay. it be known, like if any woman had a problem with a gay, I I felt bad for them because she was like, "Don't make me come over there. Y'all gonna owe me a kiss. Don't oh. say that shit to me." She, I'm she, gonna feel some type of way, like bitch. What? She, she was over there. She trying to get it. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was going forward. Very much. I mean. She I'm all trying about to, free love. She got to try to get it in where she fit in, too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? She's trying to find her somebody that uh-huh. she can push up on. Push up on <laughs> and take advantage of. Okay. But would dudes go to that? I I mean, I would take a date. Like, I took, I'm taking my girlfriend. We went to paint with a twist. And so I felt like it was the same thing. I, I didn't know it was different. Like It's just, different. Yeah, that's like a party. Because I'm like, I wouldn't go they to told you to put, it. they were like, hey, put your stuff down. We about to, j-. they just turn up the music. We about to dance. We ain't want to paint no more. Like, oh. Was- I mean, I still would probably take somebody with me, but I don't know. I wouldn't Depends. go with like a group of niggas. 
Like, so, like, no, hey, of course. Me and my boys finna go, hey, we finna go trap and paint, baby. Trap and paint, baby. No. It just I mean, depends. Like, yeah. And so you either going solo or with a date. So, like, which oh, one? I mean, group? we had my other oh, friend. Oh, a group. My other yeah. friend came with us. He came. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. I can see that. So you're going to group. Like, yeah, you going to go, me and my boys going to hit a paint. Yeah. Hey, my nigga. You ever like a romantic, like, hey, me and my girl going? Yeah, okay. I can I don't see know. that. I wouldn't want my dude going. It's too much ass up in there. I ain't got time to be like, oh, don't look at that right now. Like, well, uh, it's too much ass everywhere. Unless mm. y'all look at it as a couple. I'm not that. I'm not that <laughs> couple. Not, say she not there for I'm not okay. that couple. She not, she not that couple. Because there was no way he could not look at it. We was all like, what the fuck? Like, it was going hard like, in there. Yeah. yeah Trap good. and paint. I Nigga, I wrote down Cardi B for some reason. I don't know oh, what I like Cardi B. Cardi B. She make money moves. She do. I don't know. You talking about trapping the paint? Oh, you know what? This is what it is. Okay, so one of the things, this may not have even been last week. This may have been from before. Yep. But one of the things Cardi B did was she was saying that she was going to make her her stuff a little bit more PG or yeah, PG-13. Yeah, girls. Yep. Okay. Because, you know, girls looking up to her and, like, people got pissed off about that. Why? They were like, I you shouldn't okay. change nothing about what you're doing for nobody else. That's and some bullshit. She's maturing and knowing that girls are looking up to her. Like, Nicki Minaj to me, that little, what she did, that paper, breaking the mm-hmm. internet, I ain't like that picture. I don't want my little cousin, I don't have any, if I have a daughter, I don't want looking at this shit. Right. Yeah. Okay. And, and thinking and so, it's okay. So Nicki people, Minaj really has people thinking it's okay to basically be... Okay, and so Thotish. yeah, basically. Well, did, did you see the clip that um, I think Eve is on this new talk show? Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. She, oh, they talk bad about her, and I love Eve, but yeah, I thought Eve, she was right. She didn't knock Nikki. Yeah, she didn't knock her. She was just no. saying, being in the public eye and be, being such a big public figure, you're gonna be put in the role model figure where a lot of young ladies look up to yeah. you. So. Right. She was talking about evolution. She was like, pretty much, you yeah, you did what you had to do coming up, but now you've got yourself to a certain point where when you, you shouldn't have to do stuff right. like that. She, she got to show her breast all of It's like, Nikki don't change at all. I mean, she, she changed some. Because, like, when she first came out, she was, like, I mean, she was on some thought stuff, but then at the same time, she was doing, like, that whole Barbie thing. Like, when she oh, was, like, different that. colored. I guess, yeah. I'm a, she's okay. matured from that point. I'm but a, she hadn't gotten past the the the. Have the whole sexuality and yeah. well, stuff. Okay, so so the argument the argument that a lot of people had with this was that everybody talking about you know Cardi B gonna go PG thirteen for the girls and Nicki need to calm down because of you know everybody looking at her whatever and they were like so it's not really their job to raise your kids. Oh. So if you saying that they doing a bad job of being role models, then what are you doing? They are role models. I mean. You're I a role agree. models. Once you're in the public eye, you're a role model. But you can't always be there 24 seven with your kid. I didn't listen to rap music growing up, but I know Lil Kim songs. I knew. But Lil Kim of... didn't influence you that much, did she? No, I never wonder. No. Why not? I like rap music. I was singing songs like uh, I used to be scared of the dick. I didn't know what the hell she was talking about, but I was singing that shit. But like, no. so so you. It, my my question is: so if you feel like you could listen and rap Lil' Kim and be fine, then what's wrong with, you know, people being okay with Cardi B and Nicki Minaj doing whatever the hell they want to do? And if, But if Cardi B feel like she needs to tone it down, that's her opinion. I agree with that. But I like her, how she always keeps it real and says she was hoeing. She was a stripper. And I feel like that's, that's why my argument for Cardi B is like, I, I agree that, you know, if she wants to tone it down, she should tone it down. Yeah. She's she being real with everything that she's done. If she not, her, she not like sugarcoating anything. She's not doing it for, oh, because media, I need, I look at these females, like these little girls, like, hey, I need to tone it down for y'all because y'all yeah. shouldn't want to. Now it's okay. People say it's okay for your daughter to be a stripper. Yeah. They're making it. What, what is the difference between Cardi B and most people? Cardi B is basically telling her life story. Yeah. For everything that she's doing. Right. But other people are trying to act a certain way out of their character. That's not really who they are. Right. They're just acting that could be, like Nicki Minaj. You're right. Yeah, How do you know of Nicki? Nicki was, was a manufactured artist. Yeah. Because yeah, so. when Nicki was first, like before she came out, she was a hard, like, like the videos that I saw of her, she was wearing like nigga clothes. She was real skinny, that kind of stuff. Like she was just. The sex sales. Right, and so they they manufactured her to be basically what Cardi B is. Mm-hmm. They made Nicki that first, but Nicki wasn't like that when she first started. 
Yeah. So like, and, it's, and that's how most people, are, a lot of people are manufactured. Like, where Carter B's living her her real true yeah, life story, or whatever. Truth. Living her I truth. Like her. What's her name is like? That's like uh, who's that? I seen the video with uh, Young and May. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like she had a video where she was like in a jersey dress and Are you very serious? real feminine everything. Oh, for real? It, yeah. And then like, you know what I'm saying? It was like a maybe like a less than a year span, whatever. She coming out and she all thug that all this and that, whatever. So, so she like, used to be like a girl yeah. before. Oh. So oh. she never was just No, it was, that was how she always home. was. So she but she it, developed this like hard nigga type mentality, yeah. like to where you it would sell. Yeah, on that level, that I, I can believe that though. I mean, that kind of soul with the jersey dress. No, but, but no, but, but the thing about like this with female rappers, whatever, in the lane that she was going into, whatever, everybody kind of had that same kind of little lane and stuff. Yeah, you yeah. have to develop different. She needed to develop a lane for herself. I like her though. I know I like her. She she's pretty good. Like I ain't I ain't complaining about her style or nothing. But yeah. I think that yeah she I could see her trying to find a lane so that she don't try to jump in with other females like that. Yeah, yeah, because she always could been gay and stuff like that. Just changing it up, right? You just got to be a little bit more niggerish. Yeah, yeah. What niggerish? Yeah, niggerish. You know like you like don't wear jersey dresses to wear nothing but Tims yeah. and baggy clothes and stuff. Yeah. She looked like a dude now. Talking about somebody looked, giving you a head and everything. I know. <laughs> I'm like so that. confused. Little yeah, she she started okay. talking about a girl deep throat, and I'm like, yeah. uh, what's she deep throat? <laughs> 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 I thought I was the only one. Like, she confused oh, everybody with that point. Right. Like, niggas like it. Maybe she just put it in there. Niggas like niggas like the beat. Yeah, yeah. niggas like anything. With that's that's a whole nother topic though, cause yeah, cause Gucci Gang jam like a Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Yeah, no, no, little, little pump. That song so you got <laughs> oh my stupid, god, man. that song so stupid, but man, it jam. It gets dog. on my nerves. You right? I'm going to jam. Yeah, I, I listen to that on repeat almost. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jam. See, they played songs like that. We was like, oh my god, you know. Uh, but see. it's catchy as shit. Yeah. Uh yeah. Last thing in that little line about segment. Okay, so the the other thing that you see pop up on social media a lot is uh just niggas acting crazy. So one of the dudes uh goes by the name Boom Gang. Mm. What is, is it, what's he go by? He go by Boom. Yeah, yeah, Bonk. 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 Yeah. yeah, and he say Bonk Gang, and gang he does shit. a whole lot of gang shit. So uh he um he, been a gang gang? he was in the hospital. Mm-hmm. He was in the hospital. You know, I guess last week sometime. And he was just, he was still like talking shit and doing crazy shit from the hospital bed. And, I, and it just, it bothers me because like, I feel like kids are like, cause I, I work in schools. So like I see kids actually like trying to emulate the stuff that he does. He was in the hospital still doing a little stuff. Like and he was like talking shit. I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing him do anything specific. But he was like, it's still gonna be some gang shit in here about. Yeah, he like, he, like, he like all this shit like put on his body or whatever. Like he was in, like admitted to the hospital and stuff. And he was like, just let, put the camera close to me. Just letting y'all know, still gonna be gang shit. Yeah. Oh. Like he was gonna do some crazy shit. I don't know. I'm sure it had to be with some drugs or something. He'd oh, he be okay. on some shit. I'm sure. Oh. But like, my thing is like the kids be starting to like Get emulate on my nerves doing shit, shit like that. Like, he be stealing shit. Like, it, it's yeah. not, it's not like little things that he's doing. He's destroying property, like, stealing stuff out of stores and, and all the so kids. So he's never got arrested for a week? Oh yeah, he's been arrested. Oh. A few times. Does he get paid for this? Like. Somehow he's getting money. Well, if you, if, like I was saying, it's just like you monetizing stuff on the internet, like on YouTube and stuff like oh, that. True. <laughs> like, yeah, the many mm-hmm. views you get, you get paid a certain amount. Yeah. And so like, he probably has advertisers because, I mean, he gets plenty of views. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Just, just let y'all get a little taste of bunk game. Yeah. Oh, he's tatted up. Whether I live or die, it's always going to be more game with a lot of gang shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh. I don't think they heard me. Brand the, brand the camera to me. Whether I live or I die, it's always going to be more game with a lot of gang shit, nigga. Like he, he is on some drugs. A lot of them hoes. You know what? These yeah. kids are on some drugs. Like seriously on drugs. He he is on some like in this hell one. of a drug. He looked like he just got a good perm. Then he fixed his hair up, right? Like at one point, <laughs> no. oh no, he, no, he got a weave. 
That's weed in yeah, there? Yeah, because they had a whole thing about him getting like a male weave. And it's somebody that's been like the new thing for men. Uh, oh, I uh, didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, no. He, he gay. <laughs> no, man. Wow. I'm saying it all, man. Yeah. Well, well, well first off, y'all know, y'all seen about like people getting like the dudes getting like the new lace fronts and stuff I don't like that. Care and stuff like that. Yeah. And like the beard. That's no, that's no go. You did now, not post the beard. I seen, I seen the dude on in there, whatever. He had like a, it was like a stocking cap, whatever, and it was like a piece, whatever. It was waved up. So if you was bald headed, whatever, you put it on. Now you got all full waves. waves. Wow. That's why they was talking about ladies. Could you deal with this? Yeah, because I mean it's real. Yeah. People ain't doing it like openly like that yet, but. Let's say nigga really I started. Dudes are wearing them. lace fronts. Lace front. So me and my man about to put on a lace front to go out. Baby, my lace front straight. His way is going to be nice. I know. Yeah, and and who going to know? Just like y'all be wearing wigs and don't nobody know. Who going to know if he got real waves or not? Mm-hmm. The only person gonna know is you. When he told him, when y'all get to bed, he take it off. Yeah, he got to, <laughs> he got to, he got to hang his waves up on the dresser. <laughs> no, no, just no, like, no, y'all gonna hang y'all, right. y'all gonna hang y'all wigs next to each that other. Ain't funny. Right? <laughs> that ain't gonna be funny. like, uh, remember, I'm, I'm gonna get you sucker. Oh my Liz god. Yes. Yeah, she start taking off the, the nails, nails and stuff. The hair. Uh, the wigs gonna, gonna come off. Y'all ain't gonna do nothing. Y'all both get in bed and put on each other's, his and hers bonnets. Mm hmm. They'll be like, who the hell is you? That ain't about to happen over here. I'm the only one taking off. See, but I don't, wig. okay, this is a whole nother subject, but I don't understand how it's cool for women to wear wigs, but mm-hmm. a nigga wear something fake. It's cool. <laughs> no, you can't just have fake hair. You can wear, what you mean fake? Fake anything, fake hair. If, if a nigga got, you know. He can't have fake hair. We got the sprayed on, sprayed on beard. What about that? Sprayed on beard? No, just don't grow one. You can't grow it. Beard gang. Beard gang. We good. out you. No. <laughs> no, we've been wearing wigs for a while. Y'all dealt with it. So, yeah, so why can't we? Do, okay, so I'm why not, can't I'm we? I'm not here to deal with that shit. Why can't we start wearing weave and no, wigs and shit? It's if y'all different. been wearing, them? it's to me, it's a little feminine. Don't do that. She has toxic masculinity right For there. Real? God yeah. damn it! I don't care. Man, we moving <laughs> on. Okay, so <laughs> so <don't> <laughs> to transition, See, about to take no lace front. We gonna transition into the uh, check yourself segment. Because just because we were just talking about Boom Gang and how he looked like he on a bunch of drugs, uh, the big thing right now is that there's like a major drug push, like for especially like these young. I, he not a rapper though, but like I guess there's a lot of rappers in. Like if you look at people like Lil Pump, the Gucci Gang, and like uh, that, have y'all seen the dude Six Nine? Mm-hmm. He got this song called Gumbo where he got a bunch of blood dudes in the video, or whatever. But he got like rainbow colored hair, and he got like rainbow grill in, and oh, he just, nice. and he 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 got six nine tattooed on his face. What what's uh, that mean? I guess it's some gang shit. Oh, uh, like he's a cool. he's a rapper. But I'm like they they what it's like a, a weird. I think New York. I want to oh. say New York somewhere. Why they be getting tattooed on their face? Just... It's the culture. Yeah, you know that's the culture. It's the culture. Like this culture these days, you got the Molly, the drugs, you know. But well, we had that back then. Kinda. Of, then we had like we had ecstasy. We had X. You know what I'm saying. We had X. We had handlebars. Yeah. We had weed. Yeah. Like, but you didn't really go too much past them. Like, every I knew people on bars. Knew people on X. Knew people. You know, everybody did weed and but stuff like that. Doing, like, but now it's what like they, doing? they doing, sensationalized, with, especially with social media out there. Like it's it's come to a point where people are starting to do like like I said, Molly is normal. You know, in in MBMA. Uh, they get stronger ecstasy pills What's, now. Drink uh, is normal. Yeah. You know, the purpose Drink stuff. is normal. Yeah, yeah. Lean. Okay, well, Lean was back in the day, too. Yeah. But, but it's still. way higher now. Well, no, it's more like nationwide now. Like, yeah. Lean was yeah. a very Houston. localized kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, it was southern. Like. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was southern. Like, it was Houston, and it kind of branched out to everybody else on mm-hmm. the south. Now, Lean is everywhere. So, like, that's the big thing now. So, but the thing, the reason that we want to bring that up is because... One of the rappers died recently. The what's the name? The Pimp. Pimp. Is it Pimp or Peep? The Peep. The Peep. It's Peep. The Peep. Like the little Easter candies. Peep. Yeah. Peep. Yeah. Yeah. Peeps. Yeah. Peeps. He showed himself like taking drugs on Instagram, like just put it in his mouth. I'm getting fucked up. Like it's bad. Yeah. I I didn't know. I didn't know nothing about him specifically. I I had seen his name before. But I ain't never really Do know. Do I know some of his songs? No, I don't oh, think so. Because okay, I don't know I don't none. Think so. 
But I and the the story I saw with him was that like he was in the back of the tour bus and they just figured he was asleep. Sleep. And he had been there for sad. hours. Dead. Yeah. That is so sad. Damn. I mean, but that's and, and like, okay, but it's just I don't know, it's crazy to me because like I've never known for drugs to be so glamorized. Like back in the day when you had drug addicts, you knew you knew fiends, you knew addicts, and it was like, you know, it was kinda of, it wasn't Oh yeah, it was. It was kind of looked down on. You're right. You know, for somebody to be a fiend. Like, oh, the artists, you right, because the artists coming up were selling. They were selling drugs, and drugs. so all you they talked about was, was taking. Yeah, they talk bad about what well, they didn't talk bad about. They talk about fiends and who they were selling to and stuff like that. But these new rappers look like fiends because they are fiends. Yeah, they are fiends. Like, everybody looks the same. Yeah, fiends. like they they all own drugs. Like they all are the people that they said that old rappers were sold to. Like mm. you know what I'm saying? Like that's how the culture has shifted. Now, why do you think the culture has shifted like that? Like, why is it such a drug user culture now? I mean, you know, it goes back to who you see in the spotlight as well, like the influences. Like, we, also, we were talking about role models in the other segment. Mm-hmm. You know, like, like for instance, Lil Wayne. Oh, Lil yeah. Wayne, face tattoos. You know, he's one of the top rappers, Grammy winning. You know, he's everywhere. He's seen him everywhere. One of, he's in a lot of these kids' top three rappers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he influences a lot of he people. He did. He do he, look like him. He may not no, want to be a, a role model, but he's a role model. Whether but, he knows but like, or but not. like, but like we saying though, know, like back in the day, whatever, all the rap game was about us, the deal, people dealing drugs to people. Mm-hmm. It's kind of naive to not believe that the people that you're dealing these drugs to wasn't gonna have kids to grow up <laughs> exactly. and stuff. And, and what they can grow up and be like, oh yeah, my people was uh, using. So I'm gonna become a dealer. No, I'm become a user too. Probably. Or, or you know okay, saying? looking at Probably. it from a different angle, you got, you got okay. All these old rappers and stuff used to glamorize selling drugs to like you know people, mamas, like women on the street, blah blah blah. Yeah. And you know that people that were addicted to drugs back then, in the 80s and 90s, you know even early 2000s, people that were addicted to drugs were having financial difficulties. Mm-hmm. And so like they, they their lives were a lot harder. So their kids' lives were hard. And so like a lot of these new rappers talk about how hard their lives were. Coping they, mechanism. Yeah, they use drugs as a coping mechanism because that's all they've known their whole life. Because it looked like he was depressed, but people like he was reaching out. All the niggas look depressed. Yeah. yeah. Like clinically, just from like a, a therapist standpoint, they, they you could tell that they were dealing with a lot. How you can just. Pop pills like that. You're not scared. It's like a it's, it's, not, it's not about being scared. No, so it's about it's about yeah. not feeling the way you feel. Right. Trying, yeah. trying, trying, trying to trying to trying take to whatever negativity, yeah, to, to get out of you. Want that high to feel good and feel that zen. That. Smoke weed. That shit calms. See, but weed, weed is is a, a certain type of high that I don't think that that's enough for them. That is not enough. No, no, not it's enough. not enough. It's enough for me. Like they like they tell people, um, people that do crack or heroin, whatever. It yeah. was like you always chasing. They, people become that first addicts. Half. They chasing that first, <laughs> that first, first half. half. Yeah, I've been chasing that first half for a long time. You are incriminating yourself. I know. For real. But anyway, so, <laughs> <laughs> so like. uh yeah, but like you said, they're chasing that first high. So, like, they go from weed, you know, they got weed, they got to get a stronger strain of weed. They got to, you know, they change the weed up. Start you know, lacing it with different Start things. lacing it. Yeah, like, embalming fluid. Yeah. yeah. Now, I know some people that do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember that smell. Like, yeah, I was like, what the hell are you smoking? No way. You can't wait, can't wait, wait, wait up. That's true. Yeah. You know you like getting wet. But yeah. I didn't yeah. want to be around Sherman somebody Lee. smoking it. I was like, oh, um, they put that in Love thing. boat. What? <laughs> Getting wet. Really getting wet. Love boat. That's what they call it? Yeah, they call it. It's yeah. a lot of names. names. How do you know? No, Tell that, us. That was one of the Dave Chappelle skits. Oh. <laughs> Thank okay. you very much. My bad. I just she thought tried to, She tried to incriminate you too. <laughs> yeah, she tried to <laughs> put every time. Take me down with you. Uh, you done already Smoking said enough. Smoking that love boat. But yeah, so like, I think that just that culture came up with those kids. Well, for one, they're depressed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like life is hard for some of them kids, life and, is hard for but life is hard people. for yeah. Like, I was like, like life is hard you think for I like But but this is the thing though, know, with how we kind of came up. Yeah, we deal with some depression issues ourselves, but we know life is hard. And you kind of just kind of a hey, we've we've was brought up to be like, hey, pull yourself up, dust yourself off, keep going, whatever the case may be. A lot of these kids now don't know how to deal with certain rejections, certain depressions, this and that. So they kind of. Go towards drugs or killing themselves, this and, and that kind of nature. Like we go into thinking about sports. Like we, if you lost in sports back in the day, 
You lost. You just lost. You, you, you just lost. Mm-hmm. Hey, come back next year. Get better. Mm-hmm. Okay, case may be. Now everybody get a participation ribbon and this and that. So when you finally hit with some kind of rejection, some kind Don't of real hardship, nobody knows how to cope. Yeah. And so you got to go to drugs or you got to go to sex. You got to go into something to relieve whatever that, that pain because you don't know how to deal with it. There was a, and the, the thing about the way that we came up, like you said, we didn't have, we had participation ribbons and yeah. stuff. But like if you I won, won you won. Yeah. We like, 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 like if, I, if I won, if I, if I won and you got participation, it wasn't the same then. Yeah. We, we don't know yeah. the difference. Yeah. Yeah. You got a ribbon, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get, a, you get this big ass trophy. MVP trophy, and then Medals I get a ribbon. Hey, okay, you good in the job. Parade and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, I get a gold star and shit. Yeah, you, know yeah, you know, you was there, but yeah. you ain't win shit. Yeah, so there was a difference, and you could tell that there was a difference. And so we learned how to deal with that type of shit. And then the, the other thing was, like, even just babying you, as far as, and I, I hate to say this because I don't, I don't agree with bullying and stuff, mm-hmm. but. Like, because bullying is so, like, easy to come by now with cyberbullying and stuff, it's yeah. like, you can't, like, you don't have a chance to fight that stuff off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you had to deal with shit back in the day. Right. Cause, like, it was like, if somebody messes with you, you got, hey, you got to handle your business. I got yeah. teased a lot. Man, I was, like, yeah, but you can't, you can't tease kids now. No, you can't say shit. Well, Not like, like you say, it's different now because they can't turn it off. At least, like yeah, you said, at, at least we can go because home and I deal with it. Because these kids be on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. You always plug in. And you, you, like, you can never turn it off. Yeah. And so, by the time, like, the end of the school year. And so, like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, they depression I'm is built up. I'm growing to my forehead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, when I came back, I was all right. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, but you, but you had that whole summer to, to get grow your my mind. To grow my forehead. To but get your mind off of whoever was bothering you and stuff like that. You nah. didn't seem to the next school year. No, I beat that bitch up at the end of school year. And then came back. My phone well, these kids ain't got no chance because as soon as they go home, they t- they look at their phone, mm-hmm. get on the internet, yep. and whoever was talking about them, still talking and about them. And y'all know I'm watching that Netflix show, uh, 13 Reasons Why. Oh, my oh, God. You just so started sad. watching? I did because I didn't want to watch. I don't like watching stuff like that. It's depressing. Mm-hmm. It is. But that, the, and the thing is, okay, but I so. I dealt with all of that. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's different. It's so depressing. It's different now. And they, and they don't know, like you said, they don't have a chance to turn it off. So you got to think about they getting like an onslaught of. Depressing news, bullying, all that stuff, twenty four seven for their whole lives. Yeah. So like they turn into ways, and, and nobody's really teaching them how to cope. Nobody is telling them anything because you had one group of people. Like let's just go back to the rap culture because we're talking about drug culture in rap. Like the the people that came before them were drug dealers, emotionless. Mm-hmm. They didn't care about nobody. They didn't care what happened to nobody. They were trying to get. They were just trying to get their you know their yeah, money. And then, like, you got a group coming up after them that's dealing with a whole bunch of stuff as kids. They just kids, mm-hmm. like middle school age, and they're dealing with a whole bunch of stuff. And they trying to turn to older people, and they're like, "Nigga, suck it up." Like, you know, go out here and get some money or something like that. And then, like, they're like, "Well, you know, you're not you're not dealing with what we dealing with." You know, they drill think, think about it like this. Think yeah. about like before, like back in the day, you in school, <laughs> you get bullied, whatever. You're dealing with the people you go to school with. Right. Now you get bullied. I'm getting bullied in Houston, Texas, <coughs> but I look online and there's a dude from Chicago talking about me. There's a dude. <laughs> Why a dude. are you even <laughs> online with all these people? I don't have. But, like, but, but I'm saying, but like, if somebody say a comment about you or put a, your picture up, whatever, because they want to be yeah. out there so bad. Everybody it's like it's no privacy no more. Okay, but even yeah. even if you if you don't put the picture out yourself, now this Sometimes. happens in school. They can take a picture of you, post it. And then now, like, You've everybody heard. in school talking about you, people that are in other schools so talking about do, you. Okay, so you didn't have anything. We didn't have the internet like that in no. high school, but we had a book. And I can't lie. Me and my friend had a book we was talking about folks. Y'all mean girls. We weren't mean. I was mean to niggas. It was about niggas. Okay, mean. Well, so they mean figured girls. out. <laughs> we was, they was mean to us. So they figured out, oh, they got a book. We trying to get that book. I had to burn that damn book because we were gonna get beat up. But that's but but saying that's still that's still that's limited still, to yeah. your your surrounding. That's not somebody in Florida know about your book. It's not like okay, they have uh, Facebook groups, and this is grown people. This ain't even kids. It's oh, like yeah. Facebook groups. Like uh, what was the one that I seen the other day about uh, exposing niggas that. Um, is exposing dude, a girl's boyfriends and husbands yeah, all yeah, on this I heard about If you want to know, get on the group. Yeah, I heard about that. And these are adults 
on there talking about, oh, I seen such and such with so and so, and then I'm like, so oh, who was this. it? Oh it, my god! And then and you, if you can imagine that adults are doing that, think about what high school kids are doing. I right. seen one with my little cousin. They have a who's prettier. I didn't like that. They put two girls together, and everybody votes who's prettier. I've, she's. I've ugly. seen that in middle school like, kids. Yeah, she's yeah, middle school. I've, like I've she, middle school that's kids. why I was like, oh my god! That's that's that. it, don't let it go to a viral situation. Yeah, you get like, viral. <laughs> like, look at the little kid that with the yellow shirt. It looks like he's holding a cup, and somebody just took a picture of him. He's looking. I like swear him. to God, if my child gets stuck on there, I'm with <laughs> somebody. Know, is. But he, he can't do nothing about but it. Shit's it's funny. Yeah. Shit's funny. I don't care what anybody say. Or the little white girls making that ugly yeah. face. Like, mm, yeah. I think it's funny. I mean, sometimes they're funny. But you put your kid on that, so I don't know. I mean, sometimes it's funny, and sometimes it's like, it, it turns out to be mean. And so, like, but you can't you can't do anything about it once it's on there. Mm-hmm. And so, like, these kids are dealing with that, and, like, it, it drives them to look for some kind of, like we said, a coping mechanism, something to deal with it. And nobody's giving them any alternatives, so why not just use drugs? Mm-hmm. Think, think about like take it to this extreme about in high school whatever people on some sexual stuff somebody did mm-hmm. something in school whatever the case may be oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying like back in the day mm-hmm. yeah that was limited to your group of friends or Word to that mouth. school whatever which is bad in itself so in your not, s- not now now that shit is viral where that person can't go anywhere they pitch might be a blast and like oh yeah she does this your and, video out. Oh, your yeah, video. Yeah, you know I'm saying now your video is out on these websites. Well, I hope these not, girls. not 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 confined to a VHS. Or whatever. Even, even like just in small, like just just to see the drastic change from okay, so videos started coming out like on the internet videos when we were in college. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And even then, it was like, you had to know somebody with it. Yeah. And somebody yeah. had to, you know, bring you by the crib, like the downfall or something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because like, <laughs> yeah. like when the downfall came out, oh, y'all don't know about the downfall. What's the downfall? Yeah, that's, 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 you went to PV. Man, you went to PV. You, you know, know the mid 2000s, you know about the downfall. Oh, my God. So the downfall, like the downfall came out. People knew about it. Like, hey, you seen it? You seen it? Oh, no. hey, What's you got the it? downfall? It, it was a sex tape. Yeah. Uh, um, girls at PV? It was just one. It was just one. Oh, oh never mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, it, but it, it was just this one girl on st- on tape. And it, it was surprising to some people because, you know, like, she, I mean, she wasn't really low key, but she was. She got mean at times. Yeah, she was very, she had an attitude. Like, yeah. She was kind of mean. But anyway, so. She was on tape? Yeah, so she was on tape. And like, but the, but what I'm making is. Bro- with brothers. <laughs> But uh, the point that I'm making is, like, back then, you couldn't get that video out. Like, it, it was like you had to know somebody with it. Somebody had to go find it, blah, blah, blah. Like, it, it, she like, knew she was on tape? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she filmed it. Mm-hmm. But I don't think she expected the tape to go anywhere, yeah. but to the person that was she was doing it with. Yeah, it got viral because she, she messed over the wrong person. Yeah, Ooh. she messed him over or something, and then, like, he, he put, he it, put out it out. And then so everybody started seeing it. Yeah. But, uh, but like, now, let's say the same thing happens. Within a day, people in different cities are gonna see that tape. Yeah. yeah. Like it took months before it like just really made its rounds all the time. And not even and not even that. Like that made that video made around the campus, or whatever, right? The certain people in the campus, you have to find out what it is. Now somebody can put your video up and you on a porn website. Yeah, you on porn porn for free. for free. For free. My ass on there for free. Ain't nothing free around here. You know what I'm saying? So, and then you, you basically just out there. Yeah. And you can't, and, and when you Ladies, can't do something about it, but. Don't, don't you let him record you, girl. I just feel like that's, that's a whole other subject. That's, that's I don't a, give a shit. You ain't record nothing. That's a whole other subject. But like, so, like, but my thing is, like, because everything is so easy for stuff to go viral, it's like, how do they, I think what we need to work on, is we not gonna be able to stop these kids from bullying, like on a big grand scale? Because, no. like I said, adults are doing it to each other on mm-hmm. Facebook. It doesn't matter how old bullying doesn't stop. It it's doesn't. Sad, it's sad, and that's what I'm saying. So I'm, you got to teach kids to I'm deal in my with my thirties, and I'm still like bullying people. Type. No. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. Still give people the business. I just told that bitch to die. I ain't bullying her. I just like leave me the fuck alone. That's not bullying. That shit let the ass know. I'm not mm-hmm. here. To, I'm not here to play play. Whatever. Let's say it like I get bullied sometimes. Oh yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Adults bully all the time, and that's the thing. So like, imagine a kid is in like middle and high school, and I and like I said, I'm not against the zero tolerance policies and 
Just all that anti bullying stuff. Man, I used to fight. Man, you can't really do that yes, either because some can. people can't fight. Fuck it. You gonna learn today. Nah, I nah, ain't win every nah, battle. Nah, because like you say, we, we, we used to fight. We but fought. Not, but I but was not, like, I ain't people, fucking Now people will fight. Somebody will get beat up and then somebody comes shoot. Yeah, shoot. Yeah. See, where you getting these guns and shit from? Like My parents hands? had guns. I ain't fuck around with no guns. Came back the next day. Guns seems to be more accessible these days. Yeah, than yeah, they're easier to get. Stuff, everything is easier to get. Everything is more accessible now. Like, and, and so, <coughs> and so, with everything being more accessible, it's like it's hard to avoid. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, so what we need to teach kids because you're not gonna really teach them that Fight. that bullying ain't gonna because bullying ain't gonna stop. So no. drugs isn't really your outlet because if you plan on using drugs to get away from bullying. You gonna keep using drugs for the rest of your life yeah, until you. You're always gonna be some form of medication. Yeah, you're gonna be on something because but, you're gonna die. Well, well, okay, hold on, <laughs> what? hold on. What? You're supposed to break. Because I feel like as adults, don't we look? I, I know I probably I'm like, damn, it's a hard day. I need a drink. Mm. Mm, that ain't part of my outlet. I can't get through some. I'm gonna drink my life away, kind of like. You shouldn't do that as an adult either, though. I mean, I shouldn't. But that happy I'll be calling seventy five cent shots at Grove. That's that's Friday. that's another. That, but that I mean that that adds that to pain what the, goes away. Fuck the boss. It doesn't go away though. It did that night. And then it comes back. It I don't trips. remember. The issue doesn't go away. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't remember. Like, like, like you solving. You fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> that next day messed up. Yeah. The set the set the <laughs> issue don't go nowhere. You just got my drug. Yeah, that's your drug. That everybody, like everybody, has, a vice. everybody has some kind of vice. That ain't my vice. What's right. your vice then? I don't know. Next subject. Oh, what's okay. a, what's your vice? I think mine is. I, I think mine is kind of alcohol. Like, and I'm not gonna say. I I try not to do it. What I try to do is not drink when I'm having a problem. So, like, if you're having a problem, you don't drink. Oh yeah, okay. Because like, if you start, and that's so you must don't want me to drugs. drink at all. No, but I mean, like, don't drink because you have a problem. Just drink because you want, want to. to. Yeah, like it's different. Like, 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 like every time, every time you have a hard day or something like this, don't be the first thing to be like, I gotta get yes, a drink. Yes, I'm so glad I do not do that. Yeah. I used to, mm-hmm. I used to, but yeah. I started working out, and that still ain't helping. That's what I had to try to start doing is just you know be like, okay, I had a hard day. I'm not gonna go drink because I had a hard day. I'm just gonna chill or yeah. find some dude video game, something. You know what I'm saying? Something other than that. So. Yeah, because because alcohol is the first thing you run to. That's when it becomes an issue. Yeah, and that's and that's like what happens anything. with these kids with drugs. And like you said, we are we're, they're always chasing another high because they get high, they feel good, and then it's like, okay, I did that same drug again, and I, I, I didn't feel I ain't feel the same. I'm way. not feeling this good anymore, and I'm still kind of thinking about my problems. I need to get something a little bit stronger this time. So that's probably why a lot of people drink alcohol a lot. A lot, yeah. That's why people are alcoholics, alcoholics, drug addicts. All of that, all of that falls into the same. I was trying to get away from your from your issue. Yeah, you're trying to get away from your issue. I'm just trying to loosen up. Sometimes it depends. How I'm That's what I'm saying. Time. There's there's a difference between drinking to loosen up and yeah. have fun. Yeah, and like, then, like you being, you're being social at yeah, that point. That's social, time, whatever. but like you say, if you if every day you find yourself being like, oh, work is just stressing me, out, and, it, and I gotta give me a drink, and it becomes drinking is your coping mechanism for the other issues in your life, and it's your go to. You don't think about like, oh, I have a hard day. Let me go work out. Hey, yeah. Hardy, let me just go watch some TV. Your first thought is, I gotta go ahead and give me a drink. Yeah, that's yeah. when it comes an issue. What you what you really have to do, and you know what, this could have been a Wusa segment, but I, I'm saying it too early yeah. right now. But anyway, so like one of the things that you can do is instead of like when you when you think of having a bad day, you gotta think of a positive outlet. So like like working out is a good one. Like this has been a terrible day. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna just go hard until I can't you know think no more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that and then that, that's like productive because then you're getting yourself healthy yeah. and you're getting your stress out. But like people, a lot of people think that if they drink a glass of wine, like that's not becoming alcoholic. Like people will pour up a whole bottle of wine after a hard day. Like, and it's big on women because women will be like, well, I'm not excuse no alcoholic. Me. Excuse me. It is. Excuse me. Come, come I'm not an alcoholic. I'm just going to go what drink this mean? bottle of wine after Y'all a hard day. Y'all drink a beer in a minute. No, I'm talking no. about a whole bottle of wine. Like, I don't like it when you first open it and then you let it spoil. So I got to so drink, drink the whole, whole bottle. bottle. See, that's, that's Amen. So cool. Amen. That's why I got to <laughs> do that thing coming. I, I've teetered this line. Because what? <laughs> the thing is, it puts the spike into the into the cork mm-hmm. and doesn't mm-hmm. take the cork out. And basically, you just pour it with the cork in it. No. And it reseals no, itself. No, it's not going to. Okay. You think so. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've had to deal drink with that. I've, 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 I've teetered that line where I've uh, my drinking got a little heavy. 
And it took me, I think it just hit me one day when I was out with some friends. They were like, why are you not drinking? You haven't drunk, you usually drink about four or five drinks by now. Yeah. Like, well, I'm just, I'm like, you know, he's like, hit me when I woke up naked by myself. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, I was, you know, you know, I had to slow Man, it down. I ain't gonna lie, I, had to, I, I looked at much. some of my snaps and was like, oh, bitch, you need to get it together. You are fucking drunk. <laughs> oh, when I'm God. singing songs in my bedroom by myself. You know, when the evening no, hanging out good. with friends turns into spending about $200. Yeah. Um, you know, turn it up, you know, just, yeah. you know. You know, you just gotta, you have to learn self control and things like that. But when you're smoking, <laughs> that's different. This is about the same. No, it's, oh no. Next. Alright, anyway. <laughs> so we're moving on. Moving right along. So we're gonna I move on to, agree. uh, we're gonna move on to halftime real quick. So halftime, I don't know what's been going on with sports. Like, Ain't nothing really going on. I'd say the Texans been doing kind of trash. They, they won Sunday. They won Sunday. Oh, they did win Sunday. You savage. right. Savage. Do this thing. Tom, Tom Savage. I want my money. Uh, Tom. That's what's I know. Saying. Thank you. How, how the Rockets doing? Rockets. They doing good. They, 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 they did first lose. My money does. I said they doing good. I think. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I need Chris Paul to come back, though. He back. He back? Yeah, he back. Oh, okay. I need, okay. I'm going to hit the game tomorrow. I'm going to have to watch. Uh, I'm going to have to keep up with the Rockets. I've been going back. Oh, man. I want to talk about that. There was I want to know was I racist or like was I wrong for what? Speak that the some... Rockets game since we're gonna talk about was yeah, it the Rockets game and we were playing um, the Raptors mm-hmm. and this guy behind me was like, um, come on, they're from Canada, come on, they're Canadian, mm-hmm. like they can't play basketball. So I laughed and said, ain't that right? And the girl next to me, she's Canadian. <laughs> was I wrong because I was laughing? My homeboy said, dang, that's wrong. Ashley, like, look how she looking. I really didn't give a shit how she was looking because I'm going for the rights. <laughs> like, I didn't care. I mean, if it's about the team, I don't It was think just it's about bad. the t- team, but I wasn't really like, oh, you're Canadian, you can't play? Yeah, no. Nah. Shit, they not, the, the, the players ain't even Canadian, really. Yeah, like, no. Nah. So, I feel, he felt like I should apologize. I didn't say that shit. No, I don't feel no apology. Over here, was I wrong? Maybe, but not 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 <laughs> racist wrong. You yeah, know. you want racist wrong? You want to be like, hey, they're white. What the hell? That's why I was like, I've been heard so yeah, many comments nah. about, oh, you're black dance, some shit, <laughs> oh, some white boy told me some shit. Cut a G. Basically, in Mexico, I was like, are you lost your damn mind? You gonna dance? Mm. Anyway, but the other thing is, uh, as in as far as sports go, Lavar Ball and his son Leangelo. <laughs> he crazy. Uh, hey, did y'all see uh, Saturday Night Live when uh, <laughs> when uh, <laughs> Keenan did Lavar Ball? <laughs> oh, I saw yeah. that. That shit was it's funny. funny. <laughs> That's, uh, that shit was funny. But anyway, <laughs> just because that popped in my mind. Right now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it's Lavar Ball and Donald Trump been going at it on Twitter, and I guess this is basically a transition into the real news because yeah. your your president is on Twitter tripping again. So he on there, he on there tripping over like a uh, a basketball player's father. Like this is random. Like I, I don't uh. think you could get more random than the president of the United States addressing a college basketball player's father on Twitter. You know he petty. He the king no, of but petty. Like no, like you, there has to be a line. Like where is the line gonna be? There's he no don't line. have a line, God, and it's like wow. I, it's like I don't like him. But I think he's crazy, so I'm going to see what he's going to say. Like, I'm waiting for him to get on there and say something about some little elementary girl. Like, some little girl in elementary school, can you believe that she didn't speak to me? And, like, I feel like he's on he, that level. Yeah, he's very petty. Like, like, I can't. I, can't I didn't know he him, was man. that petty like this. Oh, he's petty. Mm. He looks so hurt. My yeah. hand getting no apology. And he no, got no, apology. thank you. Not apology. That's what I'm thank you. Yeah, he, he, oh, he, he, needed, he wanted he a thank you. He wanted a thank you from the bar. The bar was like, about to. He said, like, "You didn't save me." He said, "I want to show you saved my son. stealing ass son. Who apologized? Who thanked you? He, he did. Kind of exchange with Marshawn mentioned his mom too. He did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, they got into it because Marshawn Lynch, uh, Oakland Raiders played uh, the New England Patriots in Mexico City. Oh, he's okay. he stood, right. And he stood. He set for the national anthem, American anthem, but he stood up for the Mexican anthem, oh. and. Trump went on Twitter and said that 
he should be Marshawn Lynch should be suspended for the rest of the season for not standing for our anthem, but standing for the Mexican anthem. And pretty much Marshawn Lynch's mama got on Twitter and stuff and basically roasted Trump. What she say? I mean, she said, um, "What NFL team do Trump own?" Oh yeah, they wouldn't let you own. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. Because he he had that whole AFL thing. Going yeah, the on. UCFL. He tried to uh, yeah. to get in the league. He made his own league because they wouldn't let him own the team. He's such a bitch. Yeah, he's a female. He is. <laughs> oh my god! What you mean a female? Excuse me. I ain't like this shit. <laughs> <laughs> What you mean, such You're a wrong, female? Wrong. When the truth hurts. <laughs> that truth don't hurt. So he act like, so he be acting like that? He no. don't. He said that y'all be uh, overreacting and emotional. So y'all, if the shoe fits. But y'all don't do that? That's not what he said. I said he's a bitch. He was like, <laughs> like a female. Mm. 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 Well, what do you mean by bitch? Yeah. Next question. Exactly. Yeah. Who you calling the bitch? Who you calling the bitch? I don't think he act like. I don't think he act like no female. I don't act like that. Majority. Uh-huh. Then what's a bitch? Soft ass nigga. Mm. Soft ass man. Female dog. I guess. So now we just gonna rewrite. Yeah, we, <laughs> stuff, huh? we, we are. We just gonna change. Yeah, my the word, your definition is different from mine. I see. Okay. Bitch ass president. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, woman that good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even like women. What? You don't even like fucking women. Oh wow! All right, moving on. Since we're, since we're talking about bitch ass politics, we gonna uh, uh, shots. We gonna Fire. talk about uh, Roy Moore. What's going on with Roy Moore? Is he Roy, a senator? senator? Roy Moore. He's no, running he, for senator. No, he's, he's running. For he's senator. running for senator on the Republican side uh, Alabama. in the state, of, the great state of Alabama. Alabama. You know what I'm saying? And, but you know what I'm saying? Mr. Moore has been accused by twelve different, nine or twelve different women of sexual assault. Some oh, of these wow. women, some of these women at the age were assaulted by him at the age of fourteen when he mm. was a assistant district attorney. In the great like, state of Alabama. Yeah, he was like 30 years old. Yeah, he, when he was in his 30s, he used to frequent malls. Frequent malls? <laughs> That's fre- he, used frequent malls. <laughs> he, used to, he used to frequent <laughs> malls. And, 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 he was and pass out, and, and, and out lollipops and stuff to, oh. to, to little girls and until he got banned from the mall. He looked like a little creepy ass man, though. I ain't gonna you got to be a fucked up individual for somebody to tell you not to come to the you mall. You can't come around here no more. <laughs> but the bad part about it. But they said it, he was very creepy. But the bad part about it, it also shows the tribalism of the country. That there is people that, mm. even the even, uh, Jellico people that talks about God all the time is yep. on his side because they want him to win. Yeah. Uh, like somebody came out and said, well, uh, Joe, Mary and Joseph, Mary was a teenager. And when she's with Joseph and they had Jesus and everything like that, and that's that's perfectly right. But Joseph didn't sleep with Mary. Yeah. No, nah, not no at all. Saying. We don't know that. He probably slept with her later on. I'm not going to. We, we, that's a deep conversation. <laughs> okay, but, I'm saying. <laughs> but I was saying. But I seen a, another uh, tweet or something. I seen a statement from somebody saying that they would. They were like, well, they understand the the issues that he has or whatever, but they would much rather have somebody with those issues than to have a liberal or a Democrat right. in office. No, a pastor came out the other day and said that uh, basically these women were lying, whatever, talking about some of these little girls must have had some real sweet dreams. What? Uh, uh, and make up wow. made up stories and stuff like that. And they'd be like... I mean, is, is is Roy Moore even an attractive dude? No, no, he's old. He's old, like he's, he's old, old now. But, but you I'm know, saying, even was when he, he was before? 30, no, huh? I looked at no. I wouldn't give okay, him none of my I'm, sweet candy. Like, <laughs> like why would <laughs> not, not even his tighty whities? Because that's how he was getting. Like, oh, no, he can't have it. He can't have it. He yeah. wasn't even no Bill Clinton. Like Bill could have got it, but not him. He came out in his white drawers. That's what I'm saying. Like they always, like they always say stuff like that about these men, like these these old white men. And they be like, yeah, I mean, they might have thought that they had had sex. Like you're not even a person that anybody wants to have sex with. So why do you think little girls are fantasizing about you? Do y'all not know he's signing Bibles though? He thinks he is Jesus, probably though. Yeah, but this, but this is the thing though. It's one thing to be like, oh, these women lied, and you know what I'm saying. I ain't insult this woman at my job, so that's one thing. But you. We're doing this when these women were 
teenagers. Right. Yes. He like signed the are, yearbook talking about he yes. don't know who that lady is. But you signed your name in the place y'all were at. Yeah. She was a waitress there. Poor lady. And she said, I vote. It's not about Democrat or Republican. She's like, I voted for Trump. Basically, she just wanted to let, and she don't want no money. She don't want anything. She yeah. just wanted to be heard. Mm-hmm. She was like, he did assault me. Ugh. That's tough. Yeah. One, another dude, like Republicans, came out and said that the women should be prosecuted because if they waited this long to come out about their stories, they should be prosecuted because a known pedophile has been running rampant for the past 40 years and they could have done something about it. So they should be prosecuted and go to jail themselves. Oh, really? I ain't had nobody say that. You know what makes me mad with men like that? Have you ever been assaulted? Have you ever been touched in a certain type of way that you thought this person was your friend? Men don't get touched. I mean, I don't. Some uh, men, I guess y'all get touched. But, but, but I don't but, know. No, men this, don't get no, but that this, much but this, but this is the thing attention with, like that. When you have people that go against something that morally wrong or, or they're outspoken about certain things, it's usually they're trying to protect their own interests. They're doing their own things, too. Because, uh, there was somebody in the news this week, uh, in the Ohio, uh, House of Representatives, whatever, for Repub- Republicans, um, that was really big against, uh, gay rights mm-hmm. in the LGBTQ community. Oh, yeah. And basically that. was, had to resign because he had got caught having sex with another man. In his office. In his office. Are you wow. serious? Yeah. So you, that's why, oh, you don't like gay men, but you gay. Yes. That's yeah. usually how I go, though. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just like, just like, just like a lot of people that's, that's going to, that's, Back in war and war for certain reasons, I guarantee a lot of them probably was doing the same they thing. They probably messed with women, well, yeah, young girls, with young girls yeah. and stuff too. So, so I mean, like people, people are going to be real vocal when they want to kind of take the heat off themselves. True. And yeah. so, like that's how that that anti gay dude was. Like he he was, and he is backed by like major super packs that yeah. were against gay rights and stuff. And he's over here how fucking he dudes got in his office. Like yeah, somebody said, I think somebody walked in, and somebody. he's married. So like. That's usually how I go. If they the really, wife. I notice if men really, really don't like gay men, they usually if you, if like. If you're very homophobic, men. whatever, you probably yeah. do. Y'all think you get kind of nervous. Do y'all think with, uh, how, you know how they pretty much assassinated Bill Cosby's character? Mm-hmm. And, you know, when that all started coming out, that was kind of like the first one you start seeing all these stars, stars and, stuff. and stuff, getting all the assault cases coming out, rape cases coming out. I think that was like the, the beginning. That was the beginning. You know, it's, yeah, it started the whole trickle effect. Man. Well, it's the beginning, but this is my thing, though. Like, he was drug But like I say, like Bill Cosby's situation, you got the other like actors were like, some of them were remorseful, like, hey, you know, if I did that, I apologize, all this other stuff. Yeah. But the reason why we're a warrior, Roy Moore can win and be still be successful is because Donald Trump is president. Right. Because he ran on the same thing. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's, I, they he, showed he, so many women coming out of Yeah, him. he's accused of sexually assaulting so many women and he and still he became president. It. So he gave, he basically has given the blueprint that be like, it's okay. It, you can do this and, and you still, still can, win. yeah, you still can succeed. Grab him by the successful. pussy. You got me fucked yeah. up. If you got enough people to ride with you, you can, you can outlast anything. And that's yeah. sad though, because I'm starting to think like, to be honest, ain't nothing gonna happen. And I feel like that part of that is why like there's such this big backlash about about sexual assault now, is that they're like they don't want and and I, people have had this conversation before, but they don't want people to get to that level again, mm-hmm. to where like Donald Trump had been doing this for a long time when he was just you know you know doing real estate yeah. and Cause reality all the TV. Women, you can't tell me. I knew he probably was sleeping with someone or touching them. Like, yeah, he was. He was doing a lot. He did a lot of sexual assault, yeah. but nobody came out about it until he was running for president. And by that time, it was too late. He was too powerful. Right. So I think now everybody's coming out and saying, "Okay, well, I need to get to this person before they get any more powerful." Yeah. And so like that's why everybody's like, okay, yeah, I was sexually assaulted by so and so, and you know what I'm saying. So it's just popping up. Well, well it's, it's coming to the point now where people are not even where like when the election, people voted against their interests. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Now people are vote, voting against their morality. Whereas, they don't want that party to like, win. Well, like, yeah, that's I, I, I don't want that party to win. So yeah, he might. So rape. this is not for the people because yeah. you're going against something. Yeah, like, he might rape some kids, woman, but he's he's. he's like Trump, He's religious. Trump came out today. Donald Trump came out today. And he said he didn't verbally say that he's for Roy Moore, but they asked him about it for Roy Moore. He was like, "Well, we don't need another Democrat right. in, in office in the Senate." Mm-hmm. We don't need so basically, basically yeah. indirectly saying that I, I we still vote. need to have him in here. Yeah, you know, they just want they want they their party. party yeah, people, it's not for the people, people against your morals. Vote for this party because, like, like Trump said, like Trump was like because he talked about Franklin. 
Yeah, uh, Al Franken. Franklin? Franklin? Al Franken. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That that didn't do anything, just had like inappropriate <laughs> pictures, whatever. Which like I watched he did uh say, he well, did do he, something. Yeah, what I'm saying he, well, he had a, a picture that was on, like a USO tour. The girl said he ki- she kissed like he kissed her. They, they, did, they did a skit and he wrote it into the skit whatever to kiss her. So it was kinda like forcibly doing it whatever. So I believe he did some shit. Oh, well, like I say, but I'm saying like he came he out. He very creepy. Yeah. He came out and like I say, he probably like on a liberal side, like every if you liberal and they come out, people they come out and apologize and that. On the Republican side, everybody's kind of like, oh, let's wait and see or this and that because they see the blueprint that we don't have to be remorseful of shit. We can go ahead and just do what we want to do yeah. and people still don't ride with us because at the end of the day, you might say, oh, well, he messed with kids. I don't know. But then Trump be like, well, we're going to get these Mexicans out of here. All right. We're going right. to get this hustle yeah. out of here. They, they They're gonna, like, we're going to ride with your agenda. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna divert the attention. Like, they're going to talk about, you know, pro-life abortion stuff, even though, like, this yeah. this dude's out here, like, molesting kids. Right. But it's like, but you could have this other dude in office that's trying to have people get abortion. So, yeah. which one do you want? Yeah, and right. people have to weigh their morality, be like, okay, well, which one do I care about more? A Democrat being in office that is, that is pro-abortion yeah, yeah, or this dude so. that's, you know... May have touched some kids in his may, may have touched. So, we don't know for sure. Yeah, they're gonna say they're gonna use that as their basis to be like, well, those are just accusations. We know that this dude is pro abortion, so let's go against the pro abortion dude, and we'll just yeah, I think he's going with Who, Roy Moore. Yeah, he's losing. He's losing right now. But he, yeah, I'll say he's losing. I hope but he lose, man. Like, 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 if he wins, then it just shows that we are screwed as a country. Yeah. I mean, I think Trump, Trump winning. Trump was, won, and I know we're screwed. Like yeah, we're, we, it yeah. showed, like we ain't shit. But but if Trump winning, it just shows sexism. If no, Roman it wins, showed racism. No, sexism, no, no. It showed it showed it showed it showed, it showed, it, showed it shows a lot of shit. But you can't get no lower than fucking with a kid. And you want to be racist and sex or whatever? You fucking with a child? I really that, 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 that anybody Republican, Democrat, whatever, black, white, Hispanic, whatever, you should be like children should never be touched like. But these that. are you accusations. Be in jail. Yeah, yeah, these are. Yeah. But they don't have real proof of this. But with Trump, we had proof that he said what he said, and we still voted him in there. I think I think this is the thing with with the whole Trump thing because Trump got voted in. Oh, yeah. I, after all the stuff all that the he stuff did he and said, said, said yeah, you know, but but he still voted I him in. I, I feel like after Trump, like this is a big post-Trump election right here, because it, time will tell if people are really going to stand by their morals after Trump. Because we saw with Trump that you know morals is just eh, it's kind of fickle with everybody. Yeah. But if it comes down to like this next one, like Roy Moore. If you still vote for Roy Moore, that means you don't give a damn about morals at all. Right. Like it is, it has become a free for all in this country. Like Trump was one thing. Like it was bad because that was the first time something like that had happened where somebody was completely morally wrong and still got voted in. Uh-huh. But if you're still voting in morally corrupt people after that, well, now nah, we well, are really fucked. Well, 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 because this is the thing. Like I, like I'm saying, like Trump, you can. Justify a person, a Republican would justify like, oh, somebody be like, well, Trump touching women, grabbing women by by the pussy and stuff like that. Uh, and they were like, well, if that was your wife, well, that never be my wife. This and that, blah blah blah. This and that, whatever the case may be, you can they can brush that off. Yeah. With the Roy Moore situation, you can't brush off. What if that was your daughter? Because that could have been your daughter. He was going to the mall picking up girls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That could have been your child. So you, you took if you justify that in any kind of way. It just tell you how morally corrupt we all have become but, to the point of that. Yeah, but like we we're detached as a society. Yeah. And so yeah. like you you're not gonna think of a little girl getting raped or molested or anything like that. Like a lot of people would think of that and be like, Well, it's not mine. Like and, and like it's it's fucked up, but that's just kind of where we are right now as a society. Like people are really in in a in a segregated place where they're like, I don't really care. What happens to somebody else? That's why, like, nobody, everybody's against, um, what's the shit? Uh, welfare and things like that because they're like, oh, well, they're poor. They, that's their business, not mine. Like, I'm not here to help them. They're, and, like, I think, and it's, that's, like you said, this is probably the very worst you can do. Mm-hmm. But I think there's a lot of people out there that are like, that's not my kid. I'm not fixing to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Well, 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 that's what I'm saying. It, like, I knew shit was fucked up. Like I say, the election was fucked up, but everybody voted against, for, for certain policies, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. When the white lady got killed, ran over by the car in Charlottesville, oh. Virginia. Yeah. When the white lady got killed, 
and people were just brushed their shit off like it wasn't nothing. Yeah. I was like, it wasn't like she was a minority that got killed. Right. Or this and that. I was saying this white lady, this young white lady. Yeah. Got murdered by Nazis. You know what I'm saying? And you brush that shit off. And still talking about free speech. How, how there was good people on both sides. Yes. That just tell you how detached you or everybody is from reality and how people really just don't give a shit. It's like, like with this they administration and, and, and the, it's like a lack of accountability now. A lot of yeah. you know? Like we always talk about, oh, the Antichrist is coming and stuff like that, or like re- we in Revelation and stuff. We've been in Revelations. They was in Revelations before we were born, right? With, with certain things, like people always try to try to gear the Bible up towards the certain things that are going on now. A lot of this stuff was always going on. It's always mm-hmm. in in every day we wake up. You know, what I'm saying it's always a battle of good and evil. Yeah, yeah. you know, what I'm saying so. I'm good. You eat. Like, like oh, like we little- know. Oh. Liar. I don't know, it's just like, it's like, it's getting to the point where they're just letting whatever, uh, it's, nobody's being, they're able to get away with so much now. Mm-hmm. But the kids, like, we, Trump is still getting the office, right? more can probably, he can still run and he's not really, he we're not talking about charges, we should be talking about pressing charges against this man and not, not trying to get him in office. Like, the lack of accountability is just not there anymore and it's like. But, but like I say, we, we don't, only reason we have an issue with it so much because all this shit's on our face. Because like you say, it's been thrown in our face for long, it's like. Or like people say, we speak of R. Kelly, we talk about the music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we sit and talk about like, oh yeah, he a pedophile. He still sell our shows. You know what I'm saying? We talk about the sex tapes. He coming in town? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He still our shows. He still at parties and stuff like that. Like, who got accused recently? Like you say, Russell Simmons got accused, whatever. Yeah. Russell Simmons been fucking with little girls. Yeah. With like young, younger, like teenagers. Like, and they might be, they might be legal in 18. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But still, he, he's in his 30s or 40s but at the he time. Said, she said it was okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, but sure. and that, but that's the thing. Like, okay, we're, we're more saying that too. He said he always asks permission of the parents of the mother. That's what he said. Yes. He did say that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? I've never, I've never asked, out, asked out a girl unless I got permission from my mother. He then let you know he already been fucking with them little girls. But, yeah. and it's and it's it's crazy because like like you said, this this stuff has been going on. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. a lot of and, and a lot of those older dudes are gonna fuck with younger people, and I mean like teenagers is ridiculous. We glorify you, Hefner. Yeah, you have to Y'all did. Y'all do. And I said, we, 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 we glorified. Right? I didn't we say did. we didn't. In society, since, yeah. since the 60s. We all want to go to Playboy Mansion. Because right. y'all want these young hoes. Oh, y'all quiet now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Got us there. Yeah. <laughs> young hoes. <laughs> But yeah, so like it, it's just, always been nothing old ass men, sack chasers. I don't want no old ass. How how old is old? See, you asking the wrong question. Sack chaser. His sack yeah. needs to be up though, not oh, hanging. God. My yeah. bad. Yeah, man, bad. First off, first uh, off, first off, me saying sack chasers usually about sack like for the money, but you just equate it to balls and stuff. I already tell you where your mind is at. Balls and hanging. <laughs> you talking about old man balls? We talking about money? Money, oh, money. money. Oh, just because he old does not mean he. I mean, that's, he have money. I mean, that's another thing to look at. Men, men, well, people that's in a position of power or great wealth. You know, it's just like it's. Yeah, that has something to do with it too. You know, it's like they feel like they're untouchable or invincible. Of course. Yeah, so they're saying wealth is power. Yeah, you got some money. Look at OJ. I mean, well, OJ was good at first. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, OJ just used his. Uh, He's stupid. Good shit too much. Like, like I said, I like I seen that somewhere. They talking about like how power corrupts people and stuff. That was like how, uh, like all the stuff going on with these men in higher positions, whatever power, sexist. Some of these people are just doing wrong shit. They was talking about even like with Hillary Clinton and stuff. Like all the stuff that came out about the DNC and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and like she was doing good stuff, or whatever. But as soon as she got that power over DNC, or whatever case may be, it corrupted her she in a certain way. I think so. And she started doing other shit. Yeah, they so. talking about like you, you know, can't saying, handle it. Some people just don't stick to their morals, whatever. Some people get to certain levels and just let the power corrupt them. I think I'll be corrupt. I, I, mean, I think every, like lie. almost everybody is going to change a little bit once you get into power. somebody's going. This is the thing. Somebody you're going to abuse your power in some kind of way. Damn somebody's right. going to be like a hey, like like some of these dudes. I almost buzz it. You know what I'm saying? You're going you're going to do what you got to do. Other people are going to do it to get certain favors. What case may be financially. What case may be. You're going to use your power it's just the way you use it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but I mean, yeah. So basically, it seems like every week something's going to come out in the news oh. about. You know, somebody, especially sexual assault, because that's a big thing right now. But as as we got these people empowered, it's just really, 
I guess the the administration we're in right now is just making everything crazy, and I, I feel like sure. that's just what that <laughs> went through everything into a reflection of our leader. Uh, no, we, we, we not. We, we are living in we are, we are living in the whole world is living in Sodom and Gomorrah. Bring a Barack back. Yeah. This is, this is real life Sodom and Gomorrah. The, 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 no. the, the U.S. is Sodom and Gomorrah. Don't Gamora. say that. No. Why? You don't think it is? What do you think was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah that ain't going on here? See, but that's the whole point, though. When people hear Sodom and Gomorrah, they think about sexual stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There was so much like other Sodom. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sodom and Gomorrah. We fucking in that. <laughs> but, uh, no. No, but, 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 but that's my whole point, though. Like, Sodom and Gomorrah was more than just sexual stuff. It was, yeah. the, more, it was the most deviant place of, like, theft and everything else. Anything that was morally or corrupt or anything like that was going on but there. Oh. It's like, and, that's, and that's how the world is today. Like, like you're saying, just, we just, we talking about, we actually, in 2017, having a discussion about, hey, people not fucking with kids. Yeah. It should be a universal, no, this is like, wrong. Everybody should be like, oh yeah, no, that's definitely wrong. But it, the fact that we have to have a debate about it, like, well, I mean, like, it, there's no well I mean about fucking with kids. Yes. Like, the fact that people are really having to have debates about such terrible things, that's where it's like, okay, this is kind of Sodom and Gomorrah-ish. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we have reached, I, I don't even say we reached the pinnacle. Like, we, we are, we are at a point where for us to go past this point, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, hey, they're talking about bring them kids out so we may know them. What yeah. the hell is going on? Oh, yeah. no, no, don't say that. Yeah, like, it's, it's, at this point, like, it, it, it's going to be, Interesting to see where it goes from here. To me, I feel like we're at the pinnacle, and we got to. There's nowhere to go but like up from here. Well, you well, well, well. If, if if what happens next year in the elections uh, happen, like what happened in Virginia and stuff like that, then it's a good sign, and it's also a sign of things changing that we are headed to the year of the woman. Yeah, oh, that sound nice. No, I bet it does. No, saying you're a woman thing because, the woman. because no, like I say, because women are becoming an empowered and women are stepping up. Because women... y'all don't know how to get shit done. We know how to get shit done, okay. and we gonna get this shit done. I believe, right. you, and I agree with you. Right, but I also think that y'all very uh, just like how a lot of men are very easy for power to corrupt them. Y'all are too. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens when all these women start coming into power, and then like. The same corruption still happens. Perfect example. You know what I'm saying? For my TSU people that listen to this podcast, y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Priscilla Slade. Oh, let's not talk about you that. You know what I'm saying, Chris? You know about Priscilla Slade. Hey, that's one of the best times at TSU while y'all playing. You know what I'm saying? But it's the best times TSU finna going to lose their accreditation and everything. Yeah, we yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she was taking money. Yeah, she was taking money. I, agree, president, 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 I, mean, I know. Yeah, you know, I read. You know, woman. Yeah. I read. Hear her roar. Yeah, just so. one woman. But I'm saying, like, it's, it, as more women come into power, we'll be able to see what the difference is, if there is a difference at all. It will be a difference. Yeah. We'll see. Next topic. <laughs> all right. So last topic. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So last topic. Uh, we're gonna go right into the Wu Saw segment for today. I need a Wu Saw. You know, because we in the Thanksgiving week. Because hopefully this episode will come out eh, probably tomorrow since I'm off. Okay. It'll come out tomorrow. Oh, you're off. So on Wednesday. It'll be out on Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And so our Wusa moment for this week is just going to be basically about being thankful. So we'll go around the table real quick. Oh, no. We're going to go around the table real quick, starting with Ashley. What are you thankful for? Why I got to start? We're going to start with Ashley. You want to start? I'll start. Okay. You make me feel better. Yeah, because I don't know what I'm thankful for. He's supposed to be a woman in power. Yeah, not right now. Mm -hmm. I'm already moving this. Kyle. I'm saying, (laughs) nah, what you thankful for? Like, I'm I'm thankful for my family. That's one. Aw. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful for the people in this room. You know what I'm saying? We started this podcast over like 10 weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? Over two, two and a half months ago, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We, we started with just one, one little board. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Two, you know what I'm saying? With, with a dream and a microphone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now we, you know what I'm saying? We set up doing good things, whatever, moving to bigger and better things going to 2018. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just thankful for that. You know what I'm saying? Just the patience and just the positivity of just hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Bigger things on the horizon, just in our, in all of our personal lives, all of our, you know what I'm saying? Career, Career wise and mm-hmm. things of that nature. So just hoping big things. Ashley that was nice. Mm-hmm. Do you ready, Ashley? No. After going after I gotta go after him. Mm-hmm. I'm thankful for just people that's gotta deal with my attitude. You know, y'all the mm-hmm. real MVPs. It's just 
Sometimes I'm not able to just, you know, drink it away. I got to call somebody. That's wow. real. Amen. I'm thankful for my family. I love them to death. I'm thankful for just be able to see difference every now and then. I like seeing different things, changes, stuff like that. And I'm thankful that. y'all let me on this podcast. <laughs> we thankful for you. All right. Well, thank for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, what you thankful for? <laughs> I mean, I'm thankful for family, man. Just uh, 2017 was a big changing year for me. I had a lot of major changes to my life. And this year's been a grind. So I've been, you know, becoming an entrepreneur and just, you know, just grinding it out. I'm thankful yeah. for it because I know it's going to pay off next year. So. Amen. Yeah. Well, that's real. Hallelujah. What you, what you uh, thankful for over there? Uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take it kind of deep a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to cry. No, not, I'm not a, that kind of deep. No, I ain't, I ain't gonna be that kind of deep. But I'm thankful for I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for all that. You know, I'm thankful for being here with y'all. I'm thankful for people that you know contribute to my overall well being. But what I'm really thankful for is the struggle. I'm mm-hmm. thankful. I'm thankful for the struggle. I'm thankful for like like Alan was talking about uh, like this small podcast start that we have right now you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying I, i'm thankful for you know being able to watch something build not and just in life in general because yeah, like yeah. if you don't if you don't ever see the beginning stages of something the struggle then you don't really have an appreciation for it amen what, what you realize is that when you struggle to get something you really have a much greater appreciation for it like if i if we'd have hopped on this just just to use this podcast as an example if we'd have hopped on here you know what I'm saying? Was getting paid off the jump. You know what I'm saying? All of our stuff was paid for. We walk in and have an executive meetings and we, you know, quit our jobs. Everything was just gravy. Then it would be one thing. And, you know, I don't think we would have the appreciation that we have for right now. Cause right now we're still at the beginning stages. We building up and we, we struggling with just this. But even outside of the podcast, like in life, you know, I, I'm thankful for the fact that I go through the experiences that I go through. You know what I'm saying? Because as you go through those experiences, they they craft you into the person that you are, like negative and positive. The bad things in my life, I'm I'm appreciative of the bad things that happen to me in my life as much as I am appreciative of the good things, because the bad things help me to understand myself better. And so whenever you're you're going through something or you're struggling, that's probably the best part of your life. Because that's the part that's really going to shape you. I mean, you don't really look back on all the positive things in your life and say, okay, this changed me. Because nothing positive really changes you. Yeah. What changes you is negative. Every bad thing that happens to you makes you rethink what you did that time before. If, I, if I'm if i running through, if I'm running next to a pool and I slip on a puddle and bust my head, I'm going to remember next time I'm not supposed to run through there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's the negative things that really shape you as the person that you are and make you develop into something that's beneficial to you in the long run. So I will say that I'm, that's what I'm most thankful for. I'm thankful that we are struggling right now and we are building right now because I believe that in the end it's going to be great and we're going to appreciate the hard times that we have. Great. In life. And, 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 that's, and that's the main thing too. Talking about like being thankful for, like talking about the struggle. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like you say, using the podcast for an example, like we, you know what I'm saying? We started from humble beginnings, but I'm thankful for dealing with people that see a vision of something bigger right. and that like we hit the ground running and we was like okay you know what i'm saying we could have be on here talking on a cell phone and trying yeah. to do a podcast or whatever <laughs> but we seen from day one like hey we want to be this so okay what is it going to take to be this okay we gotta get this board we gotta get these kind of mics these mics sound better we're gonna get these stands whatever you know what i'm saying we got a whole professional little setting there when people come in Come in here and look at us, whatever, or look at what's going on. They're like, "Damn, y'all really doing it?" Yeah, we really trying to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's and like I said, I'm thankful for people to have that vision and that kind of get up and go and that encouragement to actually do research on certain things or we having these kind of conversations and stuff like that. Like I say, I'm I'm thankful for Chris coming in here. You know what I'm saying? And kind of from day one and kind of just being helping us with his yeah. radio expertise. Yeah, that's yeah. insight. You know what I'm saying? His yeah. insights, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking for Ashley Ray, whatever. We used to talk about this all the time. You know what I'm saying? Had these little conversations about like, hey, we need to want to do something different and stuff like that. That's true. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? And now, now she's a part of the game. I'm about to cry. She's part of this game shit. 
Yeah. Gang, 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 gang. Whole lot of gang shit. A whole lot of gang shit up in here. <laughs> and stuff like that. And like I say, and me and, and Doc J, whatever, like I say, back to all the way into April, March or April, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just talking about like, hey, I got this idea. Man, I've been thinking about this too. Shit, no, that thing, that was like February this yeah. year, man. That was a long time ago. We yeah. About this. I remember he said he was going to do it. I was like, damn, man, I ain't playing. Shit. Yeah. So Get my shit together over here. I remember when they told me they wanted to do it. And they had it laid out. They had it mapped out. Like, hey, we're going to do this by this time. This time. A lot of people don't, don't have that, that consistency yeah. to stick with it and, you know, see it through. Well, and like and I say, my motivation for, I'm, <laughs> and I say it's kind of fucked up. I'm thankful for mediocre niggas. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Cause I, cause all this mediocrity out here and people out here winning on mediocrity, it makes yeah. you want to step your game up. It exactly. does. Because, because it's, it's so easy to just to step back and hate on somebody and be like, man, you know, so how they making money or how they doing this and that, whatever. And stuff. And that's why you gotta get off your ass, get off your couch, whatever, and, and make something of yourself and make it better than what they are because that mediocrity shit that's, that's on the internet and all sorts of stuff like that, that stuff is not, uh, sustainable. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that'll be gone in like the next fifteen minutes, whatever. And, and we like, we learn we learn early on that like the people that are out there that like because it just looking at like rappers because this is where I got this idea yeah. from. It's like rappers talk about how there's all these mediocre rappers out there that ain't even talented mm-hmm. that are making all this money and making all yes. getting all this fame, but it's because they hustle. Like they doing something. They may be trash. Like they have no real like lyrical ability or whatever. But they put their name out there. They hustle. They get to where they need to go. Like they are doing things to make themselves known, no matter how trash you think they are. That's so true. if they trash and hustling and getting big, imagine how great you would be if you hustled like that with your greatness. Because you are great at what you I do, but nobody it. knows. Yeah, because right. because yeah. they, they, they might make on their mediocrity, they might make a hell of money in one or two years and then disappear. Right. But you know what I'm saying? By you complaining, not doing something with your greatness, you ain't making shit. Missing out. You missing just out. talking to me and Pete. Because you can last 10 plus years or whatever case may be and probably evolve into something else while those other people just fade out. Yeah. So so we're going to end this podcast with basically this. You know, it, it, be thankful for everything that you have around you. Thankful for all the people in your life. But also be thankful for all the negative and all the struggle that you're going through because it's going to help you to step into your greatness. True. Step into your greatness, be great, and do big things with the talent that you already possess. All right. Anybody got any last words before we close this out? I'm straight. Love your enemies. Love your enemies. I feel that. All right. So we're going to close out. Make sure you hit us up. uh, What's the Remedy podcast at gmail.com. Twitter at What's the Remedy. Look at us on YouTube, iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play. Basically, anywhere you find a podcast, we own that mug. We own that. We'll holler at y'all, man. We have out. a good one. Mama said you better be home. Uh-huh. When them street lights on. Uh-huh. Hey, when them street lights on. Uh-huh. Hey, when them street lights on. Uh-huh. They ain't doing nothing but wrong. Uh-huh. When them street lights on. Uh-huh. Hey, when them street lights on. Uh-huh. Cause when them street lights on. Uh-huh.